Uh, hi, hi. This is Elisha, and I welcome you to my channel. In this video today, I'm going to look at how you can actually make or express one vector as a scalar multiple of the other. So now, uh, you need to know that vectors are somewhat related to matrices. If you have done matrices, normally vectors are actually subsequenced with matrices. You, you tend to cover vectors after you've covered matrices because some of the concepts are similar. So now, when we are talking of a scalar, what is it really? So if we say matrix A is equal to 2, 3, 4, 5, and then let's say evaluate, evaluate to A. So you need to know this A denotes the, the matrix that you have. So what you do is you say 2A is equal to 2, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you need to multiply these two by all the elements of matrix A. So 2 times 2, that's a 4. 2 times 3, 6. 2 times 4, 8. 2 times 5, that's 10. Uh, so we can say therefore 2A is equal to that. Now, what then is this number on the outside? The one that we have actually multiplied all the elements of matrix A by. This one is what we call the scalar. So it's simply a number that you multiply by those. So now, how do you express one vector as a scalar multiple of the other? All right, so let me show you how we do that. If let's say we have this one here, so what we need to do is we write it as 12a, the way it is. This one is vector a plus 4 vector b is equal to. And then we write the other vector. But we need to express this one as a scalar multiple of this one. So we need to multiply this vector by the scale. You see, it's similar to what I've actually showed, shown you. So we we'll need to expand the brackets by multiplying this scalar by all the elements that we have here. So that would be 3ka uh, plus, or we can actually have something like that, then plus the scalar k multiplied by b that to be b scalar k then here we can actually write the vector that we have so from here we can actually segment this we say this one goes with the first entry here so we're gonna have 12 vector a is equal to 3 vector a k so this one and that one are like terms. Then we can also segment this one and that one. Say four vector b is equal to vector bk. And let's actually uh, determine the value of the scalar here. So we say we get rid of vector three a. Okay, so this one and that one cancel, the three and three cancel. So what we remain with is a scalar k. So a, vector a and vector a cancel. 3 into 12, that's a 4. So you can say the scalar k is equal to 4. Let's see if that's what we're going to have even here. So we, we, we do the same as what we just did here. So we need to find the value of the scalar k. So we need to get rid of the vector b. So we're going to remain with the scalar k. So b and b will cancel. So we have 4. So you see that we have a 4 this side. We also have a 4 there as the value of the scalar k. So we can say uh, since we've known the value of the scalar k, we can now express this one as this, this vector as a scalar multiple of this one. So now let me write this one finally. So what will it look like? So we're gonna write to say 
12 a plus 4 vector b is equal to we bring in the value of k so say that is a 4 that's the one we found 3a plus vector b and of course if we multiply this scalar by the elements on the inside 3 4 times 3 that will give us 12a and 4 times b that would be 4b so we can therefore say uh, therefore the vector the vector 12a plus 4b is equal to is is actually is a scalar is a scalar multiple is a scalar multiple is a scalar multiple of vector we now write the other vector that is 3 vector a plus vector b so that's how we do it let's look at this other example which is at the bottom here we see if we're gonna have the same answer. Don't you worry, you're in control. You can actually pause the video and then copy what I just wrote. So here, I'm gonna pick out this one here. That is eight R plus six. That's the fact. We are going to equate it to this other vector, which it is a multiple scalar of. So we're gonna write 4R minus 2S. So we need to multiply this by a scalar and then we expand the brackets. So that will be 4R scalar K minus K times R, that will be 2S scalar K. And this side we're going to write everything the way they are plus 6S. So from here we can single out things. We say this one will go that one, that one will go that one. So we have eight R is equal to four R K. Our interest is to find the value of K, so we need to multiply by the multiplicative inverse of four R. So we simply divide both sides by that. So this and that will cancel. We remain with K, which is the scalar. So R and R will cancel 4 into 8, that's a 2. So here, what we have is the scalar k is equal to 2. What about this other one here? What is it going to give us? So here we're going to have 6s is equal to negative 2sk. So we get rid of 2s here. So that this side, oh, that's negative. So we need to bring in the negative sign here. So these two will cancel. You have K, then S and S will cancel. Then two into six, that's a three. Negative divided into positive, that's negative. So K is equal to negative three. So you see that the scalars are different in this test. Now, as long as they're different, there's no way we would say that this vector is a scalar multiple of that vector. So we will have to indicate to say that therefore 8 R, or we can write to say 8 R plus 6 S is not a scalar multiple, it's a scalar multiple, it's not a scalar multiple of uh vector 4r minus 2s so friends that's how we actually deal with scalar multiples and how we express some vectors as scalar multiples of other vectors in the next video i will actually show you how you can prove collinearity, collinearity of vectors so if you're watching from this channel for the first time make sure that you're subscribed and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that the next time i will i will roll out videos you happen to be alerted thank you so much for watching stay blessed